we're an extraction state, and there's places to drill and get that energy out of the ground for the nation and for the tax base of the state, but there's also places we don't want to drill because of our Wyoming lifestyle, because of the things we like to do. And if they went with full field development, it would, it would change that landscape probably for, for generations. The Wyoming Legacy Act was huge, and it was a huge coalition. A lot of, the, a lot of those members stayed together, and luckily we found some people with the backing to finish filling in that little puzzle that was left and get that northern end of the Legacy Act filled up. And, and it was very important too because, it, because of the crucial wildlife areas that are in there. The, the migration routes and the, the wintering and the, the elk calving, deer, deer fawning out, plus the moose herds that use that and, and, and the antelope, the antelope migration that goes through there. So it just filled that hole we had a hole in the Legacy Act, and that filled it up. My three children are here with their, with their children, my grandchildren, and I want them to grow up here. I want them to grow up in as much of Wyoming as they can like I did. It's disappearing too fast, in my opinion, but any time we can hang on to a little piece, whether it's here or there, or the Wyoming Range or the Wind Rivers, whatever, we need to hang on to that little piece so that young people People that aren't even born yet have the same opportunities that I did when I was growing up.